Hello everyone, my name is Emerson and this is the Cloud Knowledge Chips channel. My main goal is to share my cloud knowledge with you. So, if you are working or would like to work with cloud technology, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to receive alerts about my new videos. If you'd like to know more about me or my cloud journey, below is my LinkedIn, feel free to send me a message, it will be my pleasure to help you do your cloud journey. Let's go to the content! Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the pre-built models from Document Intelligence. So here we have the Document Intelligence Studio and then we have the pre-built models created by Microsoft. So if you have the documents like invoices, receipts, business cards, identity documents, health insurance card, you can use these pre-built models to extract information from them. Um, and then if you have contract as well, you can use the contracts to extract information from the contract. So let's explore a little bit about them and then we can see all the capabilities they have and what we can do with these pre-built models from Microsoft. Here's the invoice, so which means that if you have some invoice and then you would like to extract information from the invoice, you can upload the document, it could be an image or it could be a PDF file, and then the AI is going to extract all the information from that specific invoice. So the amount of doing, so you can see the amount here, and then on billing address, you can see all the information about the billing address. Also, we have uh, the customer address, so we can have the information about the customer, customer name, the due date, the invoice date. So in this case, if you have a lot of invoice coming to your company and you'd like to extract information, you'd like to create some uh, data, you can push this data to the database and then you can have some alerts just saying to you, oh, you have one specific invoice that's due date is the next week. And then you can work on that and pay that before the due date. So this information that we have, this is the content. So you can see that the Azure Intelligence Document Intelligence Extract Tables have Table 1 and then we have the Table 2. So the date, item code, description and quantity. So if you have the, the, the tables on your documents, um, the Azure Document Intelligence is able to extract information. This is the result, so you can check that we have specific tables here. Let me find one. In the content we have a specific location when all the tables is there right here so we have the column header if this is a column header the row index the column index the content so you can see this one is here this for this specific table and then you have the binding regions on the page number the polygon about that specific content so we have all the information related to that specific column, specific cell of that table. If you like to use that, you can just click on code, extract the code, download the code, and then use this same code that you have here in your application to use the document intelligence. Uh, let's explore the other ones. So this is for invoice. The receipt is pretty much the same. So we have image, you can just run, click the run analysis. The run analysis is going to extract the information. And then you can see all the information from that specific invoice. I got this one, this one you can see that's a little blurry, so it's difficult to read. And then you can check if document intelligence is going to be able to extract all the information that we need. So here. You can see the table, so the items that we have. Then also, so we have two items, one cappuccino and another bacon and eggs. And then you have all the information like address of the store, uh, the name is, total, transaction date, all the information related to that specific receipt. Um, likewise, we have some other options that we can 
flag here so I can just run analysis on all the documents instead of one by one I can check all pages for all the recipes that I have if my recipes has some barcodes I can also check that uh, and uh, also add some couple edits like style foam to high resolution and formula let's go to the other one the other one is business card business card is pretty straightforward so I don't know if anyone is using business card nowadays but if you are you can use the business card and extract the business card information and send it to your database so if you'd like to create a database with a lot of information about business card what you can do is just take some photos upload photos and extract information create your application you you don't need to create an application from scratch you can use microsoft code to do that and then you can uh, upload the photos and with that photos you can just use uh, this code to extract information and then send to your database let's check the identity documents this one is pretty good so if you have like document like this you can use a driver license you can run analysis and uh, let me see ah, it's about network let's try again okay so we have the first name last name all the information is available so in this case you can see the address and you also can see date of birth date of expiration date of issue the document the discrimination so it's usually the id of the document document number and all the things that I have available the result you so you have all the informations uh, so you have the content where's that specific content like is meet where's that specific um, name is meet on this image and then also you can download the code and create your own application let's explore the health insurance and then the last one is contract so this is a health insurance card you can see it's a from Microsoft and then you can click the run analysis and see as well so behind the scenes what this Azure document studio is doing is is just um, sending this image using the API to the AI services the AI services is running OCR behind the scenes extracting all the information checking what kind of information it is and give you the result this is just a tool to run the code for you let's check the contract so the contract is going to get more information is going to give you more uh, information about the contract if the contract is signed or not if that specific control the party so you can see here you can see here like address the clause the name the reference name so we have some specific information about the contract you have like the effective date so when that control is going to be in place the execution date the title to have some specific information about the contract and the clause that was on that uh, contract you can see the content here so if you like to extract all the contents you can get the contents from the contract the result it's also a JSON file with all the content and then the code a specific pre-built models we don't have the pre-built code from Microsoft and then they just say oh it's gonna be soon so just check again Sometimes you're going to see the new pre-built models with the code here created by Microsoft. So this is the pre-built models. Uh, this is the US tasks. I, will, I won't cover this US tasks, but if you like, you can just click there. You can see this same thing. You can run the analysis and check the content as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Just click on that specific pre-built model, run the analysis, change the options if you like, and then check how the pre-built model is going to work for your specific case you can just upload your files you can fetch files from URL as well so 
you can use your own files to check if that's gonna uh, cover your needs. And um, then we have the custom model. The custom model I will cover in the next video. Then I'm going to upload some documents, some custom models. I'm going to show how to flag specific fields that you like to extract and how to train your model based on your own forms. Okay, see you in the next video.